Hello, and welcome back to Wells Family Journey. I'm Damien. Today, I'd like to take some time out and talk about a topic that I have extremely loved as a kid. Video games. So if you're a gamer, stay tuned. If you're not, and you're still kind of curious about what I'm about to talk about, hey, catch me back in a few seconds. All right, I'll see you then. All right, welcome back. Wells Family Journey, and I am Damien. So, about a month or two ago, I did uh, a video about what arrived at our doorstep. If you haven't checked that one out yet, please do. Uh, I'll put it in the, the end of video cards uh, if you'd like to, to know more about the unboxing. But let's get into it. I love video games. I've been playing video games since I was a little kid. Uh, I'm old. My first video game system I played with was an Atari. You know, just uh, my grandfather, when I got older, it took a while, but I was finally able to get a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo for my grandfather. Then as I got older, I bought my first video game system, which was the PlayStation. And it, my love of games just grew from there. Uh, now that I'm older and, you know, I have kids, I work, I consider myself a average gamer and I'm more on a collector now more than a gamer. And this is the first video, actually, that I'm shooting without my glasses. So I'm kind of uh, blind. <laughs> I might try and get, get into contacts, but I've tried contacts before. And I just can't do it. So video games, right? I want to particularly talk about the PlayStation 5 console and my thoughts about it uh, a few months later after getting it. So let me make sure that this is uh, recording my voice. So the PlayStation 5, um, this thing is the PlayStation 5. It is heavy. It's massive. This thing is huge. Right? It comes with a, uh, a little stand that you need to use, whether you're, you're standing it up straight or laying it flat. Always use a stand, okay? It tells you that in directions. So if you're one of the people that's kind of like me that doesn't like to read directions, no, you have to use this stand. If you don't, you risk this machine falling over, and you all know how hard it is to get a PlayStation 5. Oh my gosh. It's the hardest system I've ever tried to get. It was even harder than me getting a PlayStation 2 when I was stationed in Korea, and they were having troubles trying to send the system overseas while I was uh, stationed in Korea for the Army. So it was even harder than that to get the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. S. Uh, I just found out about a day or two ago that my buddy was able to pick up a Xbox Series X. So I'm going to see how he likes that for now. But we're all in the same boat. So this mammoth thing is the PlayStation 5. You know, it is chunky. It's bigger than the original PlayStation 3 when it first came out. So... When you put the stand on it, um, if you get the disc version, which I highly suggest you do, not go for that digital only for most systems, the Xbox and PlayStation, get the disc version of it. Uh, so the disc goes on the bottom. So this is the bottom, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but that is the bottom. There's not too much to it. You got a power button and an eject button on the front. On the back, it has some massive vents, and it has your power, power section right here. Hope you all can see that, because I can't. <laughs> the power section, HDMI, uh, internet, LAN, and two USB ports. And I think this little section right here is for locking it up, if you're putting it in a display or something. But that's pretty much it for the, the system itself, okay? 
Oh, let me put that big boy down there. Um, let's see what else. And this is the controller. It's pretty interesting. Each, I have a little skin cover for it that I got off of eBay. Other than that, it's it's pretty much all black and white, as you can see there. And each button has some good uh, resistance to it. It's called haptic feedback, whatnot. So it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's just a little bit heavier than the PlayStation 4, okay? PlayStation 4 controller. But that that's about it you know that's all that really came with the system i did i did get uh the the camera the web camera for it it's for uh future uh vr on on the playstation 5 system because I, I have the original vr headset and hopefully within the next year or two they're going to come up with a ps playstation vr 2 whatever they're going to call it okay and i will more than likely get that too. Um, yeah, I just don't don't know what else to say about the looks of the console. I particularly don't like the look of the console. I think it's just kind of ugly and it's very big and bulky to me. But hey, I buy it for the games, not for the looks. So let's let's talk about the games, or should I say the lack thereof? So in previous new console generation releases. We've usually had a nice amount of next generation games to play on our new system, right? Well, the Xbox and, excuse me, the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5 are both lacking in that department. There are like no next gen games to really play on this thing. And most, most of the next gen games are just like, um, upgrades to the ps4 games that they they currently release so and my question is are we really getting next gen games because they're just throwing in more particle effects more smoke and i know some of y'all are probably thinking in your head do you even have a 4k tv or can your tv even display yes i have a i have a nice size tv i think it's a 75 yeah it's a 75 inch lg tv 4k hdr you know i have all that great refresh rate i think it's like a 60 hertz refresh rate i think the next one i get was probably gonna be 120 but i'm gonna definitely go up even bigger in size but yes i i do have a, a great tv for it as a matter of fact when i got that tv i bought it with the playstation 5 in mind so but my my problem with the playstation 5 is I'm not seeing that next gen jump in graphics. And I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just me, but if I shell out, you know, five hundred dollars plus, you know, tax for a system, I expect to be wowed. Like when PlayStation from the jump from PS3 to PS4, you know, the first year of games, I did me personally, I did see a a uh, graphical leap, excuse me, a gra graphical leap in the graphics. Uh, but from PS4 to PS5, I'm not seeing that. The, the only thing that I, I found to be a whole lot better is the load times for the games, whether it be disc or digital. And I am a big fan of disc games. I rather have that, that hard copy in my hand that I know I can play it whenever I want. It seems like whenever in the past I've done digital, I've gotten burned on digital. Uh, a lot of games that I've, I've downloaded or purchased digitally, I'll play, it'll get glitchy, it won't work, or I'll get to a certain spot and the whole game will just crash and freeze. I've tried so many different things, uninstalling it, reinstalling it, you know, trying to bypass that certain area if I could in the game. And it was just junk so i just haven't had good luck with digital games that's why i pre prefer the hard copy the, the actual copy disc dvd whatever you want to call it in my hand in my possession because another reason you know a couple years ago i want to say it was the ps3 
towards the end of the PS3, a game called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World came out. And that was a digital-only game. You know, I downloaded it, you know, and I played it. I loved it. The game was amazing. It had good music, good uh, retro graphics for what they were going with, which was great. Everything was amazing. I love that game. And then I was thinking, you know, hey, the PS4 was right around the corner. They're going to re-release that game on a disc version, right? They never did. We went the whole entire generation of PlayStation 4, which was what? Seven years, I think? And no copy of that game. Now, here we are with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. And Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is being re-released, once again, digitally. But I do believe the Nintendo Switch has a cartridge that you can buy. So I might be wrong, but where's the disc version for it? I want that game. So as of right now, yes, I did digitally download it for the PS5. But hopefully uh, sometime in the future I can find the disc version if they are printing one. So that's my thing. That is my gripe about the PlayStation 5. So if you're still watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Wells Family Journey. And uh, let other people know about this channel, okay? I'm still kind of new, wet behind the ears, but I'm trying to make things happen, okay? So PlayStation 5, I feel I, I could have waited. I should have waited. There's not enough games to keep me interested in playing this system, you know? And unfortunately for, for me, in my household, I, I, I'm really just watching YouTube and Hulu and Netflix on it. And something else about those streaming services, I don't know if it's just my console or what, but I'm having issues playing Disney Plus on my PlayStation 5. It won't let me log into my account on my PlayStation 5. And I find that very nerve-wracking, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, I'm really not seeing anything that warrants the amount of money I spent on the system. And I bought the system, I think it was at close to $900, because I had to buy the GameStop bundle, you know, with an extra controller, two games, something else came with it. And the shipping. And I'm, I'm like, man, I should just wait it, you know, for somebody, a U system pop up or, you know, just till I could find it just on a store shelf. So, but I'm enjoying the system. Do I feel that it is a next generation leap? No, I'm really not seeing anything fancy about this system. Uh, some games that played on PlayStation 4 are ported over to the PS5 with uh, upscale resolution and graphics. And I think it goes from 30, 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5, which there are only a few games that I have that I've actually seen the graphical difference, plus the ray tracing, you know, all, all that new stuff that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X is going to be showcasing in their games future games, but I'm like, yeah, it's all cool and all, but I need that game to wow me. You know, for me, the game that wowed me when I, when I got my PlayStation 4 was uh, Infamous Second Son, I believe it's called, and uh, the, the one after Second Son with the female, First Light, I think it was called. Those two games wow me. The graphics were beautiful. No, it, it was a major jump from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4. I was just very impressed. As of right now, with the PlayStation 5, I hate to say it, but I feel it's like the PlayStation 4 Pro Pro. Or should I say PlayStation 4 Pro Part 2. I'm not seeing a huge graphical jump from last gen to this gen. Now... Maybe it's because they, they did that, that mid-gen uh, recycle refresh halfway through the life, the life cycle of last generation. Maybe that might be my issue because I was playing on the Xbox One X. And 
I don't know. I'm just not, for me. I I need I need those games to wow me. I, I'm a graphical person. I literally buy the games on how how good they look and how good they sound. And if the story is good, that that's that's an added bonus. Like I like to be immersed in my games. That's that's one of the reasons why I really enjoyed VR. Uh, before I, I got my glasses, my new prescription glasses, and started giving me motion sickness. So I, no matter what kind of adjustments I made on that VR headset, I could just not get it right again, and so I had to put it put it aside. So hopefully the new PlayStation VR, uh, the next generation of it. I hope it has even better. I hope they. I hope Sony thinks about the people that wears glasses because man, I love VR. I still buy games for VR. I still download games for VR, and I would really love to enjoy those things with my glasses on, so I can really see clear. But hey, thanks for uh, sitting with me today. If you're a gamer, I, I hope. This little rant that I had uh, <laughs> helped you out. So, like I said, if if you're if you're a gamer, you're you're really trying to get that PS5. You're staying up late like I did, you know, punching that refresh button, going to Best Buy, GameStop, Amazon, you know, trying to trying to get get that PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X before it sells out. Save your time, save your energy, save save your sanity. Wait till you can find it in stores because my honest and humble opinion, it is not worth the money right now. Seriously, it's not. You're better off getting a PS4 Pro or Xbox One X and playing that. You know what I'm saying? And if you really, really, really want that PS5, that new Xbox, I say wait till it goes on sale. You know, they drop... Maybe next next Christmas, Christmas this Christmas coming up, 2021. Who knows? Maybe they might drop it by like another $30 or $50 uh, price decrease. Get it then. Or maybe they might include it with some kind of bundle with some more games or something. But I just can't. I'm, I'm kicking myself in the butt on this purchase. I, I jumped the bandwagon on this one. I, I'm just, I should have just stick, stuck with my original PlayStation 4. So I should have just stuck with my original Xbox One X and my original PS4. But hey, as always, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and push that bell notification so you can get notified of future releases of videos on my channel. I'm trying to do about two to three videos per week now. So. Hey, sit back, relax, press play, watch my videos. Hey, five, ten minutes, that's all it takes. You might might learn something, something I might say might touch your heart. And as always, be kind to each and every one. You get a chance, find somebody to help today. You will help them, it'll make them feel good, and it'll also make you feel good and become a better person each day, one day at a time. All right, thank you once again, and I'll see you on the next video.